Russia and Iran sign a new military agreement allowing Russian jets to use an Iranian airbase for anti-ISIL missions in Syria. In an unprecedented move, Russia has begun using an airbase in Iran to conduct bombing missions over Syria. The Russian Defense Ministry says its long-range bombers have carried out airstrikes against Daesh from the west of Iran at the Hamadan Air Base. It's thought to be the first time Russian military aircraft have been deployed from Iranian soil in half a century. Russia's defense ministry said that Moscow has deployed Russian bombers to an Iranian airbase to widen its campaign in Syria. But these bombers have already uh, targeted uh, militant targets in Syria. Well, Russia's defense ministry says that those are Tupolev 22M3 long-range bombers and Suhoi 34 fighter bombers, and they were launched from a Hamadan airbase in Iran. Well, according to reports it's cheaper and quicker to fly them from Hamadan. Uh, this could reduce flying time by 60% and also could allow to increase the load on the plane. Uh, before this, Russia was flying these bombers from its base in North Ossetia because its base in Latakia in Syria is not big enough for them. But flying time, the distance uh, to Palmyra from North Ossetia is around 2,000 kilometers, whereas this distance to Palmyra from Hamadan is around 900 kilometers. But certainly, uh, Russia and Iran share similar goals in Syria and they are allies in the region and uh, both Russia and Iran are part of the same coalition fighting Daesh in Syria. International news now where it seems there's increasing cooperation over Syria. It follows Iran allowing Russia to use an air base and now China saying it will offer military help to the Syrian government. Learning that China is seeking closer military ties with Syria, a senior Chinese military official just visited Damascus where he met with the Syrian defense minister. According to the agency, the Chinese and Syrian officials also talked about the possibility for China to provide military training and humanitarian aid to Syria. This talk about the possibility of China providing military training to Syrian government forces marks a change in China's more detached approach to the war in Syria. China had previously praised Russia's role there, but it may now provide more specific support to the fight against terrorists. The Chinese news agency also reported that while in Damascus, the Chinese military official also met with the Russian general. So you have a potential alliance forming not only with China, but also with Iran. Uh, China and Russia are, are permanent members of what's called the Shanghai Cooperation Organization. Uh, Iran wants to become a member. There's about, seven, about 17 countries in all that either are permanent members, partners, uh, which also include Turkey, uh, Iran, uh, uh, India, Pakistan, uh, and, 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 and all the countries in, in, in Central Asia. It is a large organization. What's, what's intriguing is that uh, Russia is pivoting more toward the east.